Normally I don't start the vlog this late. Normally it's always earlier in the day. I was like, oh well, it is what it is. Um, I've been working all day with behind the scenes YouTube work and I am finally finished you guys. So um, that's done. So I've got to go ahead and start a new vlog. Last night though, John started, um, he sanded the wall because there was a lot of holes in the wall. So he's, he patched it up, he sanded it, and then he started the process of painting. We're gonna finish painting the office today. I told him I would love to be able to help out, um, to help him paint the office. That's if he wants me to, um, cause I don't mind. And I'm excited, it's coming along. It's all coming along, but it's actually, rainy day it's been pouring down rain all day and honestly this is sleeping weather so um i just i'd rather be in the bed to be honest with you but that's not gonna happen i'm gonna cook some spaghetti keep it simple today but it's simple but it's destiny's favorite meal like she's been begging for spaghetti and i, I feel like i just ate some i just had spaghetti why are we eating spaghetti again but that's what the kids like um so yeah that's what i'll be get, getting ready to do i already called the lady that does my nails she, i call her ahead of time let her know and she says she's available for me tomorrow morning so can't wait to get these little things done because lord can we walk around looking like this but it's not bad for four weeks i don't think that's bad at all i think she did pretty good so um yeah I just need a break real quick. I just need a minute. I, I was I was actually drinking some tea. Um, stress reliever. It's called Stress Relief from Yogi. I sell it at Walmart and all the grocery stores. I just finished drinking that because it feels, I don't know, it's giving me fall vibes today for some reason because it's really dark outside. It's raining. Um, it was lightning, lightning earlier and it was a little chilly in the house mainly due to the AC. And I'm like, let me make me some tea and stuff. So I, it, it felt good. I'm actually looking forward to fall. It's too hot. It's too hot, y'all. But before we go any further, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know, Skillshare is an online community with thousands of classes to choose from. If you want to work on your personal growth, or maybe there is a specific thing that you would like to learn, then definitely, I definitely recommend Skillshare. You can find classes on things like interior design, gardening, leadership and management skills, sewing, crafts, photography, you name it and Skillshare probably has it. Personally, I'm always trying to work on self growth and becoming more knowledgeable in the work that I do now. Right now I'm taking the class that's called YouTube Success by uh, Marquise Brownlee, it's script, shoot and edit class. It was so eye-opening. I thought I knew it a lot, but I actually have learned so much more and new things that I'm gonna start incorporating in the work that I do now. And it was amazing. We talked about researching your topic, writing your script, shooting your video, editing your footage, and also growing your channel, which is a huge one for me right now, and so many more topics. I just think it's a fun and convenient way to learn from home. I would like to let you know and the first 1,000 people that sign up with this link that I have in my description box. Today we'll get one month free trial with Skillshare so you can begin your learning journey today. And I would also like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So I thought I had spaghetti. I don't. Um, I do have elbow macaroni and that's what I put to... <sighs> that's heard me. Um, 
So, I, what was I saying? <laughs> She heard sp all she heard was spaghetti, and that was it. You don't have spaghetti. What I mean is spaghetti noodles. So um, I used elbow macaroni, and that's what we're having it. It's still pasta. It's just a different shape of pasta. Um, so I got this comment um, that you guys enjoy. Basically, they she loves the music that I play in my videos and I get comments like that all the time I'm glad that you guys love the music that I play that's the type of music I like to listen to I like listening to um, slow jams R&B jazz for one is definitely one of those um, but I always get asked about the artist or the song title and stuff like that it's hard I don't keep the titles and stuff in my mind so I don't remember most of the time when I get asked but the best way, not just for my channel, but for other channels that you watch, if you listen to a song that you really like, I would recommend for you to download the Shazam app. It's so easy. And all you gotta do is click on the S, I'm gonna do it now. You click on this circle right here, and it listens to the music, and right away it tells you the title and the artist of the song. So super easy a lot simpler than me having to go back and dig through the stuff to find out who was the one that played in that segment of that video that you like because once I post a video if it's two three days later or a week later I don't remember nothing I said in that video or what was playing at the time I was doing laundry but that song was playing I don't remember I have no clue I will have to go back check so the easiest way not just for myself but for other creators as well if you like a song definitely download the Shazam app it automatically listens to the music and tells you within a few seconds who the artist and who the um what the name of the song is so real quick you guys um but hopefully by the time you guys watch this video my mama's on the mend but my mama got COVID um they gave her some sort of medicine. She said it was kind of bitter, but because of her age group, um, and she has asthma as well, they um, they gave her, gave her certain medicine to make her feel better. Um, but she she says it actually works. It makes her feel sorry, y'all. It, it drives me crazy when the camera is cooking. And, okay, we're good. Anyway, she said it's been helping her a lot. So hopefully by the time you guys watch this video, she's feeling much better. Another reason why you guys haven't been getting the clips because um she's been feeling sick but i also got a comment it's the best way for me to answer y'all here that in the past two videos i didn't share you guys with you guys the leadership board for fetch rewards app if you don't know what that fetch rewards app is it's basically you scan your receipts to get reward points and you end up getting gift cards and i've gotten many gift cards at least 10 gift cards on fetch rewards and i say all of my for the highest amount which is $50 so any receipt you can scan anything gas receipts restaurants receipts anything scan it even when I get my nails done I get the receipt I scan that too and I get my points so let me share with you guys the leadership board so basically y'all like when I share who's on top I'm at the number one spot so I will do what maybe the top what 20 15 okay let's go Top uh, number two is Shanti McGee, my friend and homegirl. Number three is Latanya Blanding. Number four is Angela Woods. Number five, Cheryl Walker. You guys been scanning those receipts. Good job. Number six spot is Alzina Bullock. Number seven is Kenya Brown. Number eight is Ebony Tyler. Number nine is Ruthie Shakespeare. Number 10 is Love jo Joyalyn. Joyalyn. I hope I said that correctly. Number 11 is Fallon Myers. Number 12 is Esha or Isha Bailey. Number 13 is Vanessa Thompson. Number 14 is Carmen Okendo. Number 15, Adabel Morales. So those are the top 15 spots on the leadership board even if you already have fetch rewards app you already use it already you can still add me on there and then like you know we could get on the leadership board to see which one's been scanning the most points um 
yeah so i'll leave my referral code here somewhere and if you don't have it, i definitely recommend because there's nothing wrong with gift cards i have is that alarm probably the kids like right now i have a 50 dollars target gift card waiting for me to use but i'm saving it for the kids back to school supplies so um i'm trying to get another one so that's like that would be a hundred dollars for me to spend for the kids back to school so that will help a ton so everyone is fed we just finished having dinner it was a simple meal it was just the pasta the spaghetti and some hawaiian rolls that's the kind of dinner we just finished having so <laughs> it is what it is um i'm about to clean this kitchen it's like 5 16. usually i, I um cook dinner pretty early but i'm gonna clean the kitchen early so i could be done get it done and over with i don't like to leave the kitchen dirty but there, there has been times when I have done it, when I was just too tired and I just tackled the kitchen the next morning. But I try not to do that very often because a, a dirty kitchen would put me in a bad mood. Um, so yeah, so let me get started on this kitchen and then maybe I might be free. <laughs> Broken. Don't 
you come closer You know it's alright Won't you come closer, baby Stay with me tonight So won't you come closer You know it's alright Won't you come closer, baby Stay with me tonight Comment down below and let me know what is a chore that you actually don't mind doing and you it gives you satisfaction. For me, it's definitely... Um, cleaning out my kitchen sink. I feel like once the kitchen sink is clean, do not come up in here and put no dirty dishes up in here. Um, just don't make a mess. I feel like the kitchen is officially clean, clean, clean. There's clean and then it's clean, clean. Um, I actually really like cleaning the kitchen sink. I know that sounds weird, but I just love it. using the same paint I don't know if I told you guys this but we ended up using the same paint as the one we used in the living room when we did our living room kind of makeover um we still have how much paint do we have we have a lot of paint oh, about two gallons yeah so just enough for to do this room and probably a little bit over so let's get started on that Hey guys, 
guys, it's now the next day and I'm getting ready to go get my nails done. But before I do that, I'm a little early and I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in like two months. So I wanted to see what they have in here. I can see they're changing out stuff. I see back to school stuff in there. So I'm gonna go into Dollar Tree, see what they have. And then I'm gonna go get my nails done. I'm looking forward to this, y'all. I need some pampering in my life. I didn't hardly vlog in there because they have much yet. They was just stocking up and then the stuff that they, they have, like the back to school stuff, I feel like it's not a good deal. It wasn't a good deal before, but it's definitely not a good deal now, if that makes sense. Like $1.25 for a pack of Crayola crayons. When I could get the same pack of crayons for 50 cents or 25 cents, do you get what I'm saying? Um, that's not a good deal for me. At least I don't think so. So, they have some cute stuff in there. But, other than that, I don't know. I haven't been shopping at Dollar Tree like I used to. I used to stay in Dollar Tree. Not anymore. Um, maybe for a few things. I go in there for like birthday cards and stuff like that. Or gift bags. I do think those are a good deal. But for like I used to, used to, I don't anymore because I don't, I feel like it's now being a dollar twenty five. A lot of the stuff is not. I, I can find it somewhere else for cheaper. Heck, even at Walmart, I find it um, cheaper. So yeah, where you going, truck? Where you going? So yeah, they just putting their back to school stuff out. They were well stocked when it come to that um but the things i saw that maybe oh this is cute i'm sure i could get it cheaper at walmart so that's what i'm trying to say my same parking spot i found it and no one's parked here i like to park far away not too far away but i like to park far away why because i don't like people parking next to me it's just the way i am though and people still find a way to park next to me so yeah been home for a while now I just need some downtime so I lay down <laughs> I've been up since 7 30 in the morning I was feeling kind of tired when I got back so I just went ahead and lay down which is crazy because back in the day I would have never done that um before COVID like I was it yeah my birthday was when I got I found out that I had COVID and I had no choice but to rest I didn't I didn't take naps, I didn't rest or anything. And I, for me, I, when I would take a nap, I always felt so guilty. Taking a nap was so, like, I felt like so lazy. Now, ever since I got COVID, I've learned in a, in a way that sometimes nap is good. A nap is good. Like, I, when you get up, even though I didn't take a nap today, I just lay down. You get up, you feel way more refreshed. And I'm just starting to learn that you need to start listening to your body. When you're tired, you're tired. Um, not to push it so much. So, yeah. I um, I just laid down. Now I'm up and ready to go. I only laid down for like 15 minutes. I'm over here talking like I had a whole nap and everything. It was just 15 minutes. But you know what I'm noticing? Off topic. 
Then I'm kind of getting like freckles. The older that I'm getting, they're like right here. Can y'all see it? Right there? I was telling my husband like, I think that I'm getting freckles. Like, this is different. But like, they're right here. Is that freckles? I think so. Like these are just appearing in the past two months, I think. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm trying to do a like little flower arrangement for my office. I wanna see how it looks first. So let me look at the roses or the ones I ordered from Amazon and see how this looks. I'm just trying to see what, what this gonna look. This is the roses that I got from Amazon. But I don't want it just to be roses. I hope that makes sense. And this is the vase that I'll be using, which is the pop of gold. I got this from Home Goods. See, like a year ago, for like I have this, yeah, for over a year. Actually, I've had this for two years now. But I saw the same one there, only that it was like a taller vase. So I don't know. I wanted to do a. I don't know if it's gonna look good. A flower arrangement. I usually like the greenery first, and then the pop of flowers around it. I don't know if this is even gonna look good. I might change the face, we'll see. And then usually, I'll do like the flowers in between. I don't know if this is the right greenery or what. Some people would use like lamb's ear. Oh, you know what, this actually doesn't look too bad. Let's see. That actually doesn't look too bad, but you know who's gonna tell me the truth? Well, they, um, Shanti will tell me. I'll ask her. I'm gonna send her a message, see how this looks. I'm gonna do it this way, and then I'm, I'm gonna use a different vase and see if that one looks good with a different vase. I actually like that, I don't know. Usually I'm pretty good at making flower arrangements because I'm pretty good at making wreaths and stuff. Flower arrangements is just another thing that I really like doing. What do you guys think? Okay. Usually I, every time I do a flower arrangement, I always start off with the greenery and then add the flowers next. Let's see. This one needs a little bit more greenery right here. What do you think? I think like it looks like a wedding bouquet, which ain't nothing wrong with that. Little one right here. Let me text my friend. <laughs> I'm gonna switch the vase to see how it looks on this one. The exact same arrangement, just in a different vase. Oh, one of these came out. Hmm, I'm conflicted. I actually think I like it in this base base better. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is maybe putting this base by itself, just by itself, and then put the flower arrangement in this base. Eh? Eh? <laughs> I think so. I like it in this one better. Guys, so I'm now in the garage. I wanted to show you to you the nightstands that I was talking to you guys about. I don't know, was it this vlog, the next one, or the last one? I don't even know. Um, these nightstands are huge, huge, and I mean huge. John got them for thirty dollars, but he also got another tall one plus these two for thirty dollars. Isn't that crazy? I mean, they have some like. Problems. I don't know if I can show y'all. See that, but it's not really a big deal. 
so it has to be sanded down and fixed so these things are huge y'all but I brought downstairs my Cricut cart I have to wipe it down from the dust and then I'm gonna spray paint it so this is the spray paint that I'm going to be using you could get this at Walmart um, but it's a little dusty so I'm gonna wipe it down first and then spray paint it so like that the cart can match with the room y'all so this is what the cart looks like so far I have to let it dry it looks so much better oh it looks so good y'all I just scared David <laughs> ah! oh my god I just scared him and then he screamed you would have thought he was a girl oh my god that was funny but I'm in my office as you can see John is pretty much almost done with painting. Only thing he has to do is touch up some of the edges. So yeah, so his only thing he has to do is just touch up and that's about it for tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna put my desk together. Um, the cubby thing that Destiny had in her room, that's already put together, but I ordered these. So I ordered these like little legs or feet, whatever, to put under the cubby so that it could send up a little higher. So we'll be working on that tomorrow. So that will be in the next vlog, you guys. Things are moving a little slower because, you know, my husband works, so we have to do a little bit at a time. He's been doing a lot, though. Since Ever since we got back, he's been pretty much tackling things to me pretty fast. But yeah, guys, that will be it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys.